It's time for Landmark Medical's High School Hoops, sponsored by Martell Plumbing and Heating. From Pawtucket, Rhode Island, Tolman High School tonight, another High School Hoops telecast. Landmark Medical Center's High School Hoops presented by Martell Plumbing and Heating. Hi everyone, NBC 10's Frank Carpano along with Joe Hassett on the final week of the regular season. And here we are in Pawtucket tonight for another matchup in a gym that brings back memories for Joe Hassett. Well, the best part about this place <laughs> when I walked in, it smelled like a gym. It was awesome. You I'm, played here how many? Well, we won't say how many years 50 ago. 50 years All ago. All right, we'll say it. <laughs> Playing for LaSalle. Well, that was a fun time in there, but what a great looking gym this is. All right, Division Two matchup tonight. We have Tolman hosting Coventry on Tolman Senior Night. Let's talk about the keys of the game first for the visiting Coventry Oakers. Yeah, they like to run a weave outside and try to get some mismatches and get to the basket. So they want to, and they want to pack it in on the defensive side too. They want to play zone in this ball game. It'd be different contrast to play in this ball game. Well, maybe the sixth man in, in this game is the court and the fact that it is kind of tight here, isn't it? Oh, yeah. The three-point line goes out of bounds, so you have to worry about the corner. They have a sideline lane here where you can get turnovers, so they can defensively you can set up for turnovers. So it's going to be an interesting place to play. All right, for Tolman now, the keys for them tonight. Well, they want to get to the basket. Tolman is huge. This is one of the biggest high school teams we've seen this year. They're a big team, and they're going to hit the basket. They're going to go at the glass. And man to man on defense, they love to run and jump. Run and jump is like they try to trap the ball when it's exchanged. So their defense is going to be aggressive and try to get to the basket. Well, I know we were just speaking with. Coventry's head coach and he was saying that these Tolman players looked a lot shorter yeah. on uh, television yep. but they are a tall team. They only have one guy on paper who is under six feet tall but Logan Volker is a guy for Coventry that we're going to be keeping an eye on tonight. Well Logan Volker had 23 rebounds against Lincoln so he's a guy that has to get to the boards in this game to stay with these big guys for Tolman. And for Tolman, speaking of Tolman, number zero is Malik Jelinas. He does everything. He averages 17 points a game. Real good outside shooter, and he's their go-to guy, so he's going to be tough to guard. All right, it is senior night here in Pawtucket at Tolman High School, and as, as we mentioned, it is the final week of the regular season. Should be a good one. Tolman versus Coventry will have tip-off coming your way right after this. High School, Frank Carpano and Joe has the time for the Ortho Rhode Island starting lineups of tonight's game between the Coventry Oakers and the Tolman Tigers. Let's begin with the visiting Oakers. As you see, Logan Volker, we talked about him just a couple of minutes ago, and the rest of his teammates who are out on the floor to start this one tonight. As for the Tolman Tigers, 
They only have one player who is under six feet tall. So a tall team out there tonight led by Malik Jelinas, number zero. So we are ready to go for this Division II matchup between the Tolman Tigers and the Coventry Oakers. Coventry wearing red will be going from left to right on your screen to get this started. And Tolman going from right to left and wearing the silver covered uniform, colored uniform with the red stripes. And it is Coventry winning the tap. And the first shot away mm -hmm. and no good by Logan Volker. Well, that's a deep one there for Volker. He wants to set the tone right away. Quickly down the other end and in the corner driving to the hoop and in for our first basket of the night is Alex Alvarez. This is a big Tolman team. They like to get to the glass. The coach doesn't want them to take Mike Reed doesn't Neil doesn't want them to take three pointers and settle for those. They want to get to the glass. Underneath blocked. Big fella right there. Malik Jelinas nice. two point shot. Now these guys there. They're a big team in a small gym here defensively. They play man to man. They like to run and jump. What they do is if you hand the ball off, they're going to double team the ball right there. So when you set a screen, you try to double the ball. How does this compact court change a game plan, Joe? Well, with their size, they can really be aggressive out there and force people to the sideline because you run out of space to take a three pointer down there. And they make they make it play take difficult. Big rebound right there, though, in traffic. Caleb White, it's with the rebounds. Well, he's a great athlete, according to his coach, Rick Pandola. You know, he's, you couldn't even see him in there amongst the trees there of Tolman, but he gets the rebound and gets the ball up to the basket and picks up the foul. That foul goes against Poppy Fall, and that will pick Caleb Whitehead on the free throw line. Our first free throws of the evening. Big stroke there by Caleb. And he's, He's only 5'9", but he's a guy who's a great athlete. It's up and down the floor, play, plays both ends of the court pretty well. And he's got a nice rotation on that shot. Just a sophomore out there, but he puts his team on the boards. Now 4-1 for the home team. And we're going to reset the shot clock. He got stuck there. I like the official. Though. He didn't come over and check him on it and take three days to put two seconds on the <laughs> clock. He goes, says, hey, just set it to 31. That's about how much time it took to get it to midcourt. <laughs> well, you know, it is high school. They don't have any uh, replay capability here. Well, but I know you love it. It's just a little common sense, game. you know. Yeah. Little 3-2 zone right now by Coventry. We want, to, want them to take the out. Want to take the outside shot because they're so big. They don't want to get to the basket. So they try to pack it in and force them to take long ones. It's a different contrast in styles when you think most teams want to take away the three. Tolman wants Coventry to take threes. Volker driving and can't get that one Ooh. to go. Gets his own rebound, puts it up again, and that one out of bounds, and it's going to be Tolman ball. Well, Volker there, he's, he had 23 rebounds, as we mentioned, against Lincoln. He's up there. He got, he's got some nice leaping ability there. Just wasn't able to finish that one off. I think he's forcing his offense a little bit too much right now. Just let it come to him a little bit more. There's that 3 2. See how they pack it in. They want, they most have, they're not extending at all. Most teams extend about the three point line. They just keep it tight. Poppy Fall is picked. The ball out of bounds. Going to stay with the Oakers. And it's funny, you know, talking to the coach of Coventry, he says, listen, we want to pack it in, and we, all five guys have to rebound with the size of Tolman, and so far it's working for them. Little weave going here, gets down underneath, and the ball up and in for Caleb Whited. Good bounce pass, too. I like seeing that bounce pass by Fuentes. A nice little, you know, bounce pass in traffic. It usually results in a good, good score. See, not a lot of ball movement right now for Tolman. And they're going to take the outside shot, but boom. Three point right basket there. for Isaiah Goys. Yeah, he had 21 points last year. Versus Coventry, so he's got some good memories against Coventry. From outside, another three points basket. This one for Logan Moore. Logan Moore stepping back there. Guys in a nice rhythm out here right now. Not a lot of defense being played here. Let's get open looks. They knock him down. Outside, Jelinas, no good. 
rebound up and in. And the putback basket for Dan Salisbury. Well, Dan Salisbury is a good three point shooter, but he's in the rebounding position right there. Inside, trying to get the shot off. Yeah, Coventry. And they're not selling for the outside shot. They're trying to take it inside to the big guys, but Tolman now has about three block shots so far in the ball game. With that kind of size, you got to pump fake, maybe get them off the off the floor. Volker going to drive, stop, nice pop, move. and that'll go. Good move there by Volker. Nice little pump fake going to the right, crossover with the left, and a little floater in the lane. Cuts the Tolman lead to one. Salisbury in the corner, driving, dumping it out, and that ball too hot to handle, but picked up again by Salisbury, and he drives in for the layup. Well, turnovers will kill you. Good defense right there, and finish it off at the rim. Down the nice. other end, Logan Moore. That was sweet. Logan Moore looking good out there. He plays baseball for Coventry as well, but two good moves so far in this ball game. And picked off by Coventry. Looking down is Brody. Brody off in the corner and out of, out of bounds. bounds. You know, now he makes the shot there too. You, you see the line. You subconsciously you jump behind the line. You jump behind the line in the, in the wings of the corner here at Tolman, and you're out of bounds. <laughs> So. It is tight. There's so many lines out there on the court. You really have to pay attention. Well, talking to uh, Rick Padola, coach of Coventry, he wants to force Tolman into the corners and make them shoot in the corners so they don't get a look at threes. Well, that's got to be a part of the strategy because that three-point line ends before you get to the get to the corner. To the corner. Yeah, it's a packed-in Coventry zone. Got a big guy up on the top there. He's not even moving at the top of the key. He's just standing there, not allowing the ball into the middle if they can. And when he does come in the middle, they're able to deflect the pass. That's exactly what happens here. Coventry picking up the turnover again. Volker, and he gets the floater to go. Well, Volker likes to go left. Nice move right there. He goes left, and he elevates. He's got good leaping ability on that jump shot. First lead for the Coventry Oakers, and a timeout here in the first quarter. We'll be right back. High School one point lead for the visiting Coventry Oakers. Want to let you know that you can also enjoy these broadcasts on our Facebook live page presented by Trattoria Appia. Indulge in the familiar experience, the extraordinary. We are in the first period, the first quarter of tonight's high school basketball game, and this is the final week of the regular season and an important game for Coventry as they would need to win out. They have one more game after tonight win both of the games that remain on their regular season schedule and they get to host a playoff game. So they are motivated here tonight. The Coventry Oakers. Well, Logan Volker is really helping them out too. He's flipping up to the billing right now. Nice shot there. there Three point basket puts nice. Tolman back on top. Malik Jalinas, he's their best player. He was highlighted tonight. He comes right out of that timeout, knocks down a three-pointer. Tolman prides himself on defense. They want to get out there and get after it. Yeah, you go for a steal right there. You, those are the cheap ones at midcourt. You can't. You got to play good position defense. With Tolman's size, if they're going to run and jump, run and jump is when you hand off on the weave. The guy guarding the, the screener there, he jumps the ball and you double team the ball and try to create a turnover. You don't want to go for steals right there. You get the cheap fouls. The foul on Alex Alvarez is first, second team foul here in the first quarter for Tolman. 
And from outside, no good for Sam Fuentes. Fuentes has had a good look, couple of good looks from the perimeter. I like this zone though, this 3 2 zone, it really keeping it out of the middle and to get a kick ball right there. It forces you to take threes. And the way Tolina shoots those threes, Malik, he's got to take those shots. I mean, if he's outside there and they're going to give him the three pointer, take it. He's 38% from three this year. He's a 100 point shot short of 1,000 points. So he's a guy who can score, shoot the three. Missed that one. There's, there's big guy Volker with the rebound. Volker dribbles it off his foot, actually off of the foot of one of the Tigers. Back comes Coventry, out of bounds. A little tight of Brody. A little bit out of control on that one. He averages 19 points a game, the junior. But the, I think the, the defensive Tolman rushed him a little bit and great, create the turnover. From outside, foul on the play. It's, it's amazing, Frank, all the games we've done. Tyler Brody just picked up a, a turnover down the other end, right? So he comes down here on defense and tries to make up for his mistake and block a three-point shooter. And he puts Jelinas on the, on the foul line for three shots. Makes one mistake and compounds it with another one. That happens so often. Nice go stroke there by Jelinas. He's being recruited, Frank, by uh, both Rhode Island College and Johnson and Wales here locally. He's got good size. Six foot four senior. And he can shoot it. You know, sometimes guys are late bloomers and all of a sudden, boom, they, they go to a smaller school and, and really turn out. There's a player for the Celtics, Derek White, who was at a really small school. How's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> I like his game. He was on Johnson Wales campus in Colorado at one point for like a week. Really? Yeah. Huh. His coach there went to another junior college, went to a smaller school, and he went with him. And he ended up at the University of Colorado, and the rest is history. Quickly, oh. Jelinas down the other end, lays it up and in. He got nice. good speed and quickness, too. Beat the defenders down the floor. He's got good skills. Uh, that's a cheap foul right there. You know, when you teach kids to play, you don't reach in from the top. If somebody's by you, you come in from behind and you slap from underneath where you hit the ball first. He reached in that time and picks up a cheap one. See that one there? He reaches and hits him across the wrist. If you don't go underneath his hand, you hit the ball first and you get the turnover. Quickly to the hoop and underneath. It was blocked underneath, but we're going to have a foul called here. And Caleb Whiting, he plays bigger than he is. I mean, he's just 5'9", but he's, had, he's, had, he's scored on a rebound in there already, Frank, right? And that one there, he goes on the back door and he takes it up amongst the big guys and creates the contact, gets himself to the line for two. Dan Salsby with the foul. Fourth team foul for Tolman here in the first quarter. I like that nice high arc on the, on the foul shot. Soft stroke there. If you're a little short, hit the front rim when you have high arc on it, it'll just crawl in the hole for you. Just like Carter for PC. Shoots the arc on oh, his yeah. shot. Oh, my. He's got, he's got ice on that ball when it's coming down. <laughs> With those frozen ropes, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. The front rim shatters the rim. It does seem to hang up there for a while, though, when he does shoot the ball. Well, when you shoot it from 500 feet, it takes a while to get there. Spread <laughs> 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 yeah, the court a little bit here. Brody driving, one -on -one. dishes outside, the long shots, no good for Fuentes. Well, that's a good move right there. You're going to draw a double team. You're going to find a teammate for the open look. Had to change the 2-3 uh, two, two, zone look out there. Way outside, Jelinas with a three. Jelinas has got a good stroke out there. You gotta get out on him now. That zone has to extend a little bit, know where he is, because if he keeps knocking threes down, it'll be a long night. Final minute of the quarter, down the other end. Volker in and out. Off the glass. Be careful, this Tolman teams look like they can explode on the offensive end. Salisbury dumps it off, and unfortunately, Ponce can't can't get it to go. Well, he went with the left hand, just a little short on it. 
Nice pass. Oof, sweet and play right there. Logan Volker with a layup. Good give and go right there as Volker finishes it off at the rim. You see what Toman's doing. They're double teaming Volker now when he has the ball, so that's going to free up some people for open looks. A nice execution there by Coventry to get the ball back to Volker. He didn't stand when he made the pass. He cut to the basket, get himself a layup. All right, waiting for the final shot of the first quarter. In this first quarter, Gelinas 11 points, Coventry's Volker with six. Countdown on the Good clock. Pass. Shot from outside. Salsby in and out. And the rebound oh. up and in. Alex Alvarez at the buzzer. Boy. And that puts Tolman ahead 22 15 at the end here of the first quarter. We'll be right back. Landmark Medical's High School Hoops. Closed captioning sponsored by Cartage Furniture and Mattresses with same day mattress and recliner eye delivery. Welcome back to Tolman High School here in Pawtucket and the Tolman Tigers leading Coventry 22 15 as we get ready to start the second quarter of play. And it's interesting how the players we had down on our cards to watch guys who really shine there in that first quarter Joe they certainly did they shot pretty well from everywhere looks like Coventry now is going to a box and one what that is Frank is they put four guys in the zone and one guy guarding Jelinas so you had number one Nick Iannicelli is playing Jelinas man to man a little finger roll there Quickly uh, back Tyler down Brody. the other end. Dan Salisbury is going to go right to the hoop, and we have a foul called. Good move there by Salisbury again to the basket. You know, when you have the the box in one, not going to give him a shot on that. Was a reach in. We have four guys in the zone, one guy playing man to man. The middle's going to be open. He took advantage of that. Inbounds, Jelinas right off the front of the rim. Quickly down the court comes Coventry. Manichelli, nice little move there. And we say quickly down the court. This court is shorter than most, so they get there quickly. <laughs> nice, good play there. Nice pass. Oh, good, good job by Volker on the block shot and the rebound. Volker playing big inside. Good move. Well, nice Ooh. move to the. Nobody stepped in front of him. He's got some good speed there. Whiting. Again, his coach said he's a really good athlete. He's showing it right now. See the box in one. You got Nick Iacelli now playing. Jelanis, he's trying to get the ball to him. He's got a smaller guy on him, but the rest of the guys for Coventry are playing zone. And it's a tough offense defense to play against because you never practice against this. Good move Underneath. there. Yeah, that's Isaiah Goyes. Isaiah, a nice baseline move there. Well, Whiting tried to find his teammate Ida Cherry cut to the basket, but good retreat defense by Tolman on that one. Look at this move here along the baseline. Smooth play right there. He's got a nice game along that baseline. Uses his body very well to shield off the defender. Quick stop, pop, and a basket there for Jelinas. Jelinas, he knows he has a size advantage of anybody who's going to guard him. 
Unless Volker's on him, but everybody else, he's bigger than he can just raise up and take the jumper. Volker down deep. Can't get it to go, and the big rebound there for Poppy Fall. Good pass. Bounce pass in the lane. Good rebound there by the big fella, Tyler Brody. He was on the top of the zone, the 3 2 zone, but when they make a substitution with Iacelli in there, he has to play the back of the zone. He has to be a rebounder. Whited. Good pass. Nice pass. See what Whiting did right there. He created the contact against the double team to dry it. Drag both guys on him, and he finds his teammate on the square for a layup. Sam Fuentes with the basket. From outside now, Salisbury. No good. Rebound. Still fighting for it. Coventry will take control here. Good job by Volk. He's on the boards back there by himself, basically, with all the tall guys from Coleman. No shot on that one. Foul will go against Alex Alvarez, his second foul. And that foul was called on the floor, so no shots. And some substitutions coming in right now. Ryan McDermott, he's been a starting guard on this team. And this is his first year as a basketball player. He's known for his soccer ability. All right, picked off here by Coventry. Back they come, and right to the basket goes Sam Fuentes. The Coventry's got some good speed out there. I mean, they're not as big as Toma, but they do battle on the backboards. Poppy nice Fall, pass. nice pass there by Isaiah Goys. Ponce gets the layup inside. That was a good, good move. Ooh. Logan Moore tipped away. Brody inside, little jump shots in the lane. Volker can't get it to go, but this ball is going to stay with the Oakers. Here the coach, Padola, they say, give it to him. He wanted to get the ball inside to Volker. He had a smaller guy on him to post him up. Good battle going on with him. Good right pump underneath. fake. That's what you got to do. When you have playing against a big team, Frank, looks like they want to block every shot out there because they feel like they have a size advantage. They pump fake. Get them up in the air, create the contact, get yourself to the line. Pop. He said no shot? No, he said it was on the floor. Where's he going? He's going to shoot that one. It should have been a two shot foul. Second foul on Poppy Fall. The six foot six center for Tolman. Ooh, there's a block shot. Yeah. You, for you forgot the pump fake on that one. <laughs> That's what six foot six will get you. And that foul goes against Sam Fuentes. And with 3.46 left to go here in the first half, we'll have more high school hoops after this. Still a fun place to go. All right, welcome back to Pawtucket and Tolman High School. I want to invite you to stay tuned for the Ortho Rhode Island Halftime Report. We'll meet our scholar athletes 
have an interview with the Tolman High School principal. Some first half highlights, all more coming up on the Ortho Rhode Island Halftime Report. Good crowd here tonight. Senior night says uh, the seniors who were on this Tolman squad were introduced. I've got some flowers to give to their parents and a lot of signs out there for the seniors on this squad and a good crowd cheering them on as Tolman leads at 29 21 and will put the ball in bounds underneath their own baskets. Yeah, all the key players for Tolman are seniors as well. A little man to man right now for Coventry. Goy's backing his way in. No good. And it's going to stay with the Tigers here. Goy is a tough matchup. I mean, he's a big kid, but he's got good foot speed. And he gets close to the basket. You're not going to get around him. Goy set from outside. No good. Chased down by Poppy Falls. He brings it right back to the hoop and slams Poppy. it over. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Nice rebound there. He goes up with a one-hand tomahawk. He's all fired up. The fans are fired up. He says, I'm on TV, too. Show that instant yeah, replay. Yeah, <laughs> mark that on the highlight reel. And then he comes up with a block. And Goyes with a rebound quickly down the other end, three on two. Goyes wants to slam it home. The rebound there put home by Alex Alvarez and a timeout called by Coventry. Good timeout there by Coventry. That dunk got this place fired up. Oh, boy. And the Tolman players are really fired up as well. It comes right here. Good rebound right here. He goes out the corner there and gets it. Big guy goes for the pass. He takes it in. Hey, that's a tough move right there to dunk over somebody. A good ball fake, too. Here it is again. I mean, watch this ball fake. He gets Volker up the air, and boom, down the lane he goes and tomahawks it in there. That's a nice play by the big fella, and the place is rocking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I woke everybody up here. And a 12 point lead for he, the Tolman Tigers. He's still high on, fired up there on the, <laughs> on the bench. So uh, stay tuned. Later in the fourth quarter, we'll feature the Martell Plumbing and Heating play of the game. Rhode Island's most trusted plumbing, heating, and cooling company for over 97 years. And I'd, I'd say that that is the leader in the clubhouse, Joe. Oh, look Any at the doubt? bench. Look at the bench. It's like they won the game <laughs> of the Super Bowl last night. I mean, they are fired up over there. <laughs> I mean, that night, that's not good for Coventry. Coach Padula said, let me get a timeout here before this gets really out of hand. I like it how he's he's got two different colored sneakers on. He's got a red and a yellow colored sneaker. Yeah. Now when you played, everybody had the same color sneaker on, right? We were just glad to have sneakers. <laughs> Never mind. <it. laughs> we but, wore the Chuck Taylors. It was like wearing slippers out there. <laughs> Ooh, too uh, much dribbling right there. Back down the other end. Gelato oh. slams it home. Gelato gets up there and hammers it home. It's a dunk fest right now for Tolman. 14-point lead now for the Tigers. Coventry needs to get something, get some ball movement now. Don't try to do it all yourself. Foul from outside on the three-point shot by Tyler Brody. And Dan Salisbury picks up the foul right there. That's a, it's not a good foul. You know, you get the guy taking a 30-footer. Here's the replay of the jam by Jelinas. Jelinas gets out on the floor. I mean, the dunk fest right now, but you know, that foul there, he, Coventry desperately needed some points to get a hoop to slow everybody else down. And Brody takes that deep three point. He's averaging 19 points a game, so he's one of their go to guys. Picks up the foul, gets himself to the line for three. Sinks yeah. the first two here. You know, he started off the game the top of that 2 3 zone to try to take away the threes and clog up the middle in the zone. And he has to play in the back of the zone, too. So he's a, a versatile player for this Coventry team. Volker can't get all the rebounds, so he needs some help from his teammates. Now, if you're Coventry on offense, you got to come down. You got to pump fake every time because Tolman is flying. They want, they're playing above the rim right now. They want to try to block everything and dunk everything. So you got to show them the ball. An 11-point lead for the Tigers as they have the ball here inside, and we got a foul on the play. Get a couple of foul shots. Might be on Volker or who the. Hook going up and actually blocked the shot, but that goes against Isaiah Goyes, his first. Isaiah Goyes picked up the foul and with the body there. Volker blocked the shot, stopped it from being a three-point play opportunity. Okay. 
Gelinas, our leading scorer so far in this one with 16 points, as the first free throw by Dan Salisbury is no good. 71% free throw shooter. It's nice to have seniors on the floor, that's for sure. They, but these guys have been playing together for a long time. Got to make foul shots, so. Goyes with the rebound. And he falls and gives the ball up. Back comes Fuentes down in the corner. White it. The shots, no good. And rebound by Poppy Fall. Quickly back come the Tigers. Underneath. Goyce, little reverse fancy layups, no good. Goyce is uh, upset that he didn't get a call on the last one, and he's upset with the official on that one. He better be careful. Volker called for the foul, his first of the evening. Yeah, a lot of bounce play here. Let's see. Probably try to find uh, Jelinas on this one. He's that leading score you just mentioned, Frank. There it is, quickly underneath. Bounce pass in the lane there. They finally got somebody to get themselves on a turnover. It's a good, smart play by Coventry. You, stay, you know, make your offensive player feel like he's not being guarded, and they throw a bounce pass in the lane. It's a violation. You can't bounce it in there. Volker to the nice. hoop. Ah, in and out. And then pushed over the basket. And this will be Tolman basketball. Well, they're paying a lot of attention to Volker, that's for sure. When he gets the ball, there's three guys around him all the time. Made a nice move right there. Wasn't able to finish it off, but then he knocks the ball out of bounds. Tolman Tigers 17 and 4 overall this season, 14 and 3 in Division 2. And from outside, that's Malik Jelinas. Well, he's got a you know, five foot seven guy on him right now, and he knows with his size at 6'4, he's going to be able to take advantage of it. Ooh, that's a deep one. Coventry now settling for the first shot they can see. Oh, everybody's shooting now. Rebound by Logan Moore. Pape Fall, he's saying, you know, I get a dunk, maybe I'll take a three pointer <laughs> here, too. Turnover. Jelinas is going to pull it out. Shoot the three, no good. Rebound Salisbury. Nice. Spin move, and he's got the layup. Well, you see, the size is just wearing down Coventry right now. The big fellas for Tolman getting those rebounds and going right up easy. Final 40 seconds of the first half. Volker wants to drive and let's see if they call this on the floor if it's a shooting foul. Yes, he'll get two shots. Yeah, that's a shooting foul. He was going to the basket on that one. Volker's got some good speed out there, too. Good first step off the dribble. Gets through two defenders right there and takes it up to the basket, but picks up the foul. But again, I mentioned he gets a lot of attention out there because of his ability. 15 point lead now for the home team. Coventry 12 and 8 on the season, 9 and 7. They've qualified for the playoffs, but what they're fighting for here tonight is to get a home playoff game in Division 2. Yeah, once you get seven wins, you're automatically in the playoffs. And, you know, we've won game, and anything can happen. You see a lot of upsets in high school basketball in Rhode Island. Line this from way outside, and oh, he's having a day. He's having a day. You have to get somebody bigger on him. Yeah. Down the other end, no good. And Caleb Whited was covering Jelinas and just shook his head after he well, Whiting, watched that three-pointer go in. Whited is only five nine, but he plays bigger than he is. He's always around the ball. There's a turnover by Tolman. Got a step. He stepped outside the lane right there. Gets a cheap turnover. <laughs> There's some deep ones out here. I'm just trying to picture you 50 years ago running up and down this court. Yeah, I'd like to be there now. It'd yeah. be great. Back then, <laughs> when what, what was the style then? Like real short shorts, right? Short shorts, long hair, socks up to your knees, wearing Converse. Nice. 
You know, the old canvas Converse. Oh, yeah. Used to call them limousines for the feet. Ooh. Tell you what, athletically, it is. Whiting is, he's got, so he's got, Whitehead has got a, some good speed and quickness out there. He's only a sophomore. He'll be a good player for college for the next couple of years. Poppy Fall picks up his third foul here with 5.8 seconds to go. And Caleb Whited, sophomore. The guy's missing a lot of free throws in this mm. one now. You know, down 43 26, you can't afford to miss free throws. You got to knock those shots down, try to get a little closer. I say get, get up quick. Boys at the buzzer, no good. And that will end the first half here. Tolman, the Tigers with a 43 27 lead at the half. And we have our halftime report coming up right after this. It's time for the Ortho Rhode Island Halftime Report. Sponsored by Ortho Rhode Island. Caring for your every move. Hi everyone, Sports Team 10's Frank Carpano here. As we continue to shine a light on local high school athletes, NBC 10 is proud to sponsor Landmark Medical's High School Hoop Scholar Athletes of the Week. This week's scholar athletes are... Aiden Samau of Coventry High School and Gianna Wilson of Tolman High School. Aiden plays soccer and is a member of the school track teams for Coventry. He currently holds a 4.85 GPA and served as captain of the soccer team. As for Gianna, she is a two-sport athlete at Tolman, where she plays tennis and runs track. Gianna is ranked sixth in her class with a 4.0 GPA and is a member of the math club. Congratulations, Aiden and Gianna, on all your accomplishments inside the classroom and in athletics. Keep up the good work this season and good luck the rest of the school year.
It's time for the Ortho Rhode Island Halftime Report, sponsored by Ortho Rhode Island, caring for your every move. And welcome back to halftime here in Pawtucket. Tolman versus Coventry Boys Basketball. And joining us now is the principal of Tolman High School, Chris Savistano. Thank you very much for hanging out, having us here tonight. Oh, my pleasure. I think it's great for the kids that you guys are here. Your team is having a pretty good uh, season this season, the boys' basketball team. They are. They are. It's, uh, you know, besides having a strong season, they're a great bunch of kids. And, uh, you know, very well coached. And uh, But it's a tough division. Yeah. And uh, there's a few teams that can come out on top. We're, we're in the mix, uh, so we're just going to have to continue to work hard. I would imagine when you have successful teams, whether it be the, the boys' basketball team or I'm going to ask you about the girls' basketball team, school spirit a little bit higher? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And basketball is a huge sport here in our school. So when the basketball teams are doing well, it's a, it's a big boost for our school. And your girls' basketball team has been doing very well this girls year. Girls are in first place, so uh, we're encouraged for them. But they have a tough division, too. But but if they keep playing that well, uh, they're going to do well in the state tournament. Of course, uh, everyone's talking about the new school that's coming up in the old uh, McCoy Stadium area where you're going to be combining Shea and Tolman High School into one high school. Uh, tell me about your thoughts on that. Well, I played in this, I played in this gym. My, my home uh, gym was Cranston East, which was just about this size. I know Joe likes these uh, small gyms. But um, I, you know, I think our kids deserve a, a new gym. They deserve to be able to shoot a three-pointer from the corner, and uh, I think it's exciting for the for the whole community for our kids to have a real uh, beautiful facility like some of the other uh, school systems throughout the state. Chris Avistano, the principal here at Tolman High School. Thank you very much for your hospitality. All right, thanks for having us. All right, more of our halftime activities coming up right after this. It's time for the Ortho Rhode Island Halftime Report, sponsored by Ortho Rhode Island, caring for your every move. 43-27, the Tolman Tigers leading the Coventry Oakers here at halftime in Pawtucket. Frank Carpano and Joe Hassett. Let's take a look at some of the first half highlights here, Joe. Well, that's one of the guys we highlighted before the game, Volca, having a good ball game, good shot right there, with some tough defense on him. And you got the big rebound here by Pape. Pump fake takes it up for the Tomahawk slam. And he fire get the place fired up after that one. And this Caleb right here is a good shooter right there and knocks it right down. I mean, you got to get three pointers against this Tolman team. And the big guy Galinas, who's had a Super Bowl game, knocking down three pointers and getting dunks. 22 points for him in the first half. And there's, there's Volker again with a little reverse layup. Volker with eight first half points. Look at that three. That's a 30 footer. And he stopped to pose for the fans, and he's had a good ball game. There's stats here. You know, Tigers 12 for 17. I mean, that's really good shooting. Six for 16 from three. That's excellent. 
You know, they got to have something bad out there. One for five from the foul line. But the open's not bad. Eight for 21, but the defense is tough and only one for seven from three. And that, that's got to get better. Both teams with five turnovers. That's not bad in the first half. Five turnovers each. All right, so we got another half to go here. It's Tolman versus Coventry. Third quarter coming your way right after this. Landmark Medical's High School Hoops. Closed captioning sponsored by Cardi's Furniture and Mattresses with same day mattress and recliner eye delivery. All right, we are ready for the third quarter of tonight's game as Coventry tries to get back into this one against Tolman. And oh, you got to pass that one. Yeah, there's a guy wide open underneath there. Brody was wide open. D there by Coventry out of the gate, but trying to set a screen for Volker up top where he can get into the middle. And he, he got into the middle, but he missed his teammate for a layup. Brody was wide open for a layup right there, didn't get it. It's shot from outside. Volker can't get it to go. Got to rely on your teammates. Yeah, he's he's trying. He's forcing things out there a little bit. Underneath and the layup is good for Alex Alvarez. Shot by Alvarez. You know that Isaiah Goa seems like the, the the leader of this team on, on Tolman. He's the guy who runs the show out there. He's very vocal with his teammates, getting people in the right spots. But the Turned guy over. right here. Quickly, Jelinas down Jelinas. the other end and another jam. Jelinas is the guy though. He can make three pointers. He can go to the basket, dunk on you. He's just got a smooth game, got a great size at 6'4 as well. Boca's having a tough time shooting the ball tonight. You know, they just jog back on defense right there. He's got to get back there and, and protect the rim. 22 point lead now for the home team. Well, that's a good shot right there by. Fuentes knocks that three pointer down, but they Coventry needs a few more of those. We need to play some good defense here, try to just get to take one shot, get the rebounds, and get down the floor and knock down some threes. Good defense. Picked off. Boker slowing down, now speeds it up and into the corner, and that'll be out of bounds. And it's going to be Tolman taking over. Well, there was a situation right there that Cable waited. I mean, he's the guy, you know, normally you would fan out for the three. Vocal was being unselfish that time. He got down the middle, tried to find him for a layup, but he's in the corner there and he missed communication on the pass. Nice pass and the quick basket there for Dan Salisbury. Well, Salisbury has a height advantage on Whited at 6 9, I mean, at 5 uh, 9, and they're trying to get the ball inside to him. Good move there by Volkers. He split three defenders. Volkers had a 
tough go of it tonight because he has so many guys on him and three guys on him every time down the floor. Goyes from outside. Volker can't reel it in. But back comes Sam Fuentes. Fuentes got a nice game. That's good there. Good pass. That's the way to move the ball. You get a good looking shot. Mm. He's out of bounds on that one though. You see, if you throw the extra pass against Tolman, they like to gamble on defense. You know, talk about the run and jump. They're always flying at the ball. Throw an extra pass or two, you're going to get a wide open look. If you take the first one that shows, that's what they want you to do. They're going to get contested shots and get out on the fast break. No more zone now by Coventry. They got to play man to man, try to create some turnovers. Nice pass underneath. Quick right jump there. shot. Galenis again. I mean, he's just, he's just so much bigger than everybody, Frank. He's 6'4". There's nobody on the team that really matches up against him, except for Volk when he has to play inside. And the basket down the other end, but Logan Volker. Nice move there by Volk. We get down the lane. Good bounce pass. Get some movement out there. When Coventry tries to go one-on-one, -on -one, they're playing right into the hands of Tolman. Just throw some passes. Make Tolman play some defense, and he'll get a good shot. Tolman slowing down the pace a little bit now. Trying to create some mismatches. Poppy falls. <laughs> that was good execution there. You see, good coaching job right there by Mike Neal. You know, get some other people involved in the offense. And Poppy gets that shot right there. He didn't get a lot of looks in the game, but they set that def offense up for him. Oh, a little roller for Logan Volker. Logan in the lane there. Getting a little rhythm now on his offense. And here comes... Go us again. Isaiah's just running the show out here. Trying to get his teammates set up, looking for mismatches, get more people involved. Good move right there by Poppy again. Nice with the left hand that time. A little spin move off the glass. Good execution by Tolman on that. That's just coming down, firing up threes. They're moving the ball nicely. Ball with a rebound. Played with a lot more confidence since that jam in the first half. And look oh, at him, here he goes! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm not that sure that's it. the way he planned it, but no, hey, he'll take it. It's like banking one in from 30. The ball left his hand and went in the hole. He says, I'll take it, it's my night. And Toman out there having a good time right now, just moving the ball in themselves. A little bit too much dribble in there. You got to move it. Goyes, little layup. Good move there by Goyes. I mean, he's deceivingly quick for a big kid. I mean, he and gets that baseline. He can make that move nicely. Coventry trying to stop the bleeding here. It's, we're going to take a break. 2.43 to go, third quarter. So we take another look at Poppy Falls. Poppy Falls. He goes for the alley-oop to himself and lays it up and in. No dunk. Tonight's delicious free game meal was delivered to us by the Medici Italian Kitchen in East Providence at a unique wood-fired kitchen with delicious entrees, pizza, seafood, and more. 
appreciate their support all season long. Frank, give them my address so they can deliver some to my house too, okay? That would be nice. I don't want to just hear my house. I we mean, got to check that place out, this, Joe. This is our last game of the year. I like to have, you know, <laughs> continue to get those food delivered. You know, I love those. I like those freebies, you know? They're nice. I was, was going to let it slide, but now that you mention it, I, I think I like the way you think. Yeah. What the heck? A little shout out to Coventry High School coach. Mitch Padula's dad, 82 years old, big PC basketball fan. He goes to every home game. It doesn't make it on the road here, but he really enjoys his Coventry Oakers. That's yeah. awesome. Rich in his first year as the head coach of the Coventry Oakers. Right, 61 36. Tolman solidly in control of this one here in the third quarter. Just trying to run their offense right now, trying to get some people involved. The big guy right there down the middle, he's got a nice game. Isaiah, Isaiah Goyce. Goyce. You know, he had a good game against Coventry last year with those 21 points. He likes playing against Coventry. That was his high last year. Good pass. In the corner, a little floater, and Logan Volker gets that to go. That's a tough shot. Logan, I mean, that's a real tough shot. You give up the three and you throw a floater in there. It's a very difficult one to make, but nice and smooth on that by Logan. Oh, oh. from outside. Malik Jelinas. Jelinas got some game here. I mean, he's 6'4". He's I mentioned that a number of times, but he has a nice stroke from the outside. Some good hops. Good move there by Volker. But again, all the shot blockers this team has, it's tough to get that shot off. Isaiah oh. Goy is all alone down the other end with the layup. Boy. Maybe a Isaiah little frustration I'm setting in for the Coventry Oakers here. Ryan McDurbin went bouncing off the wall right there trying to block that one. This is his first year playing basketball for the Oakers. He's a tremendous soccer player. And there you go, Volker again. A little Matador defense, but Volker, he can fill it up. Got that nice little mid-range game. Final minute of the third quarter, 28-point lead for the Tolman Tigers. Talk about what a great gym this is. You look at all the banners and the championships that they list, dating back to the 70s. Oh yeah. Well, you know the old gyms are all going by the wayside, and this should really. But I mean, you like to come in here. You know, when they build a new school, it'd be nice. But the old school gyms are fun. I mean, we just got back from Butler, which was Hink Hinkle Fieldhouse we mm. just played in and Providence played in. And, you know, that's where Hoosiers were filmed. And when yeah. I was with the Pacers, that was our practice facility. And it smelled like this. It smelled like popcorn. You go to practice, <laughs> it smells like popcorn. It's awesome. You know, and then you got, you know, the Palestra down in Philly and, you know, Duke's Cameron Stadium and all those old places. And, you know, baseball, you got Fenway Park. And Wrigley Field, those places are terrific. Nice ball movement right there. I like that. Back and back, throwing the, that one guy taking it one on one against three. You know, pass it to your teammate, get an easy layup. Well, you can't replace the memories in a place like this. Even you have it from 50 years ago. I know. That's what will be missing from the new facility. That'll be a lot bigger than this. Oh yeah, it'll be a lot. All bigger. right, we got three quarters down. A 70-40 lead for Tolman here. More after this.
Hey, just a reminder at the end of tonight's game, we'll be showcasing the Landmark Medical Center. Player of the game, Landmark Medical, world-class care close to home. I think if uh, everyone has been watching closely at home, I think we'd all have a consensus on who that pick will be. But we're going to wait till the end of the game to re to reveal it here on our telecast. Well, we can sneak it in a little. You think? Bit. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Well, Malik Galinas. I mean, he's got 31 points in three quarters. Yeah. Zero out there. He's he's been terrific out there. Whew. Letting it loose from outside, no good. But the rebound by Tolman and back up and in for Alex Alvarez. Alex Alvarez gives him that intangible guy on his Tolman team. He plays good defense and he gets he rebounds the ball and he finishes nicely at the rim. And that'll get the roll for Tyler Brody. Tyler Brody averages 19 points a game. He's not happy out there right now. His team is down 72 42. Good defense there though. He blocks the shot. Oh that Alvarez guy again. again. He's all Johnny over the place. on the spot. You know, you worry about everybody else, and Alvarez has good skills out there. He's able to find the open spots. Three-point shot is short. Quickly down the other end, and laying up and in is Alvarez. Alvarez coming out of the gate here out of that timeout with some energy. See, right now Coventry is just settling for the first shot that shows, but Volker is able to finish that one off. I like what Tolman's doing though, Frank. You know, they're coming down, they're not rushing things, they're coming down to half court. Use some of the shot clock right here. Try to move the ball a little bit, unless you're this guy here. He wants to shoot it. Why not? He can make him. Malik <laughs> Jelinas. Malik Jelinas has that nice game. Good shooter from the outside. Good pass here by Volker there, finding a teammate. And he grabs the rebound now. Stop, pop, and hits. He's one of the best rebounders in the state. Volker. He averages almost 20 rebounds a game for this Oker team. Double double machine for the Okers. You know, with a score like this, what you try to do if you if you're told when you want to try to involved a lot of different people, but it's so easy for him. That move there by Goas. I mean he had the ball the whole time. He got to the basket. Coventry's not playing very good defense right now, and Tolman's taking advantage of it. Good ball movement there. Look at that. That's four passes layup. You know, that time Coventry didn't settle for the first shot they had. They came down, they moved the ball nicely, finds a teammate, and get a good look. If you told me now, I was to mention Frank, if you got this big lead now, you want to get something out of this. You know, you, you want to just keep going one on one like Gobus is doing right there. And just last two times in a row, he's making it look easy out there. But you need to see them involve their teammates a little bit more. But, you know, they're on TV. They want to come out here and light right. it up. You know? yeah, they want to hear their name. They want to have some good shots. They're yeah. putting on a nice performance tonight. Loose ball underneath, and there's Volker. Lays it up and in. Look how 20, 26 points for him now. How much better Coventry is moving the ball. There was another four-pass possession. They get a little layup inside. So, you, you know, you worry Tolman is forgetting about some defense here now that they have such a huge lead. Well, trying to take advantage of size right now and you know Alvarez has had a good spurt here for about three minutes they tried to post him up on that play and Tolman is going to take a timeout here on this senior nights in Pawtucket at Tolman High School I tell you what Joe uh, let's talk about our play of the game let's uh, let's let everybody know what you're thinking the Martell Plumbing and Heating play of the game is? I don't know. Let's check it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what it by. is. Here it comes there, there in the is. corner. Poppy Pump fall. fake and Poppy Falls is getting all kinds of Oof. highlights in this one here. Poppy knocks it down. How about that name? He's got the best name in the gym, Poppy Falls. How about that one? And that just <laughs> lit up his game. He just has Pump played right so there. much better after that. Takes the fans it. got into it at that point. His teammates uh, even more focused at that point. What a performance tonight yeah, by he, Poppy Fall and his teammates. Yeah, he got the whole place fired up. His teammates and everything. That, that timeout lasted just talking about Poppy.
And I tell you, there's some talent on this Tolman team. I mean, they're very athletic. They shoot it. It'll be interesting to see how they do in the Division II playoffs. Of course, Lincoln sits atop the standings. They are still undefeated. We had one of their games earlier this year. Good D right there by Brody. They will block that shot by Galinas. Ina Chili nice. got the bounce. Good move there by Ina Chili. Used his left hand on the left hand side there amongst the two big guys. These two teams read by led by relatively new coaches and we'll have a three point play here as Alvarez. Alex Alvarez gets it to go. I like his game. I just mentioned Frank Howard's he had the intangible but look at this move right here. Nice little problem. He got bumped still took it up strong. Gets it off the glass nicely. He's, oh. got, he's smooth. Try to complete the three point play here. Tolman led by second year coach Mike Neal. His uh, academic advisor at Rick who went to Shea interestingly. Shea was used to be the old Pawtucket West. That was the name of the school in the, back and in the Tolman day. was Tolman was Tolman. Oh OK. Yeah. Tolman was always Tolman but Shea was it uh, was Pawtucket West. Now I'm really dating myself. <laughs> Good pass. That's going to stay with Coventry. And we're going to take a break with 351 to go and Tolman in control here leading at 84 52. Oh, there's a lot of talent in the building here tonight. <laughs> Everybody having a good time. Senior night here. Oh, look at that. Joe, could, could you do that? Look at that. That's pretty good. Look at that. How does that thing not fall over her head? She's pretty good at that. That's when you know your camera people are really good. They catch the special moments like that. Yeah, they like that. An 84, 84 to 52 game. All right, there we go with Isaiah again. He's bringing the ball down the floor. He's the point guard in charge. Jelinas. Boy, that's a tough shot even to get that one off. I thought it was pretty good defense by Volker. I thought he was going to block that shot. He was right on the shooter's hand. And Jelinas was able to finish that one off. Yeah, it's a good call. That was a foul. Good move there by Volker. Created the contact and then leaned it away and hits that little fall away in the lane. He comes down here. Volker, see him create the contact. Boom. And he lets it fly. Here's that whistle. Keeps it up there and knocks it in the hole. Completes the three point play 86 55 now in favor of the Tigers. Outside no good for Jelinas. Uh, when are they going to empty the bench here at Tolman? Wondering. Some guys some minutes here. There's three minutes to go up 86 55. Let the young guys get in there and have a little fun. All right. Poppy Fall picks up his fourth. 
I guess being a TV game, Frank, they all want to stay out there and keep shooting it. Volker here. And he's, he's got 23 rebounds in the game against Lincoln this year. That's, mm. It's getting up after it. Rebound by Coventry. Good pump fake there. That's what you got to do. You got to put pump fake inside when guys want to try to block the shot. Everybody likes to block shots. You get them up in the air, you get yourself an easy basket or a foul. Another good move by, by Galinas. He's strong, too. And you can hit that three point shot. He gets on the post up, he creates the body contact, and still gets it off and makes it. From outside, three pointer is good for Tyler Brody. Tyler Brody, yeah. Good pump fake there with the pass, squared his shoulders up, knocked it down nicely. Oh. Galinas really lighting it up out there. He is in a good groove. He must have 40 points in the ball. 41 game. now, Joe. Galinas, he's just like automatic. Oh, from outside again, Brody. Brody in the same spot. He likes that spot left of the three point line. Timeout called here by Tolman. Get some subs in the game here. Of course, uh, senior night, so perhaps that is the reason for keeping a lot of his. Upperclassmen, his seniors in the game, a little yeah. bit longer than you'd think. That's a good point. This is their last home game here. We've got all the parents in the crowd. We've got a nice crowd here tonight. Oh no, they'll probably have a they'll probably have a home game in the playoffs with their record, right? True. So they'll get to play again. Yeah, there's the uh, division playoffs that's followed by the state tournament. Dino Campofiano, the athletic director, has done such a great job of helping us out here, making sure that we get on the air and. This little band box. Well, I'll tell you what, this will be. This is a great advantage in this band box with the size that Tolman has. I mean, it, one of the you know we've, we've done six games this year, Frank, and this this is the biggest team we've seen, I think. So and what, being so, a small gym like this, yeah. they can really affect people. So what happens when they get to the big floor? Well, that'll be interesting. You know, you, you know, you get you can spread them out a little bit, but they can beat you off the dribble. This team, they they all shoot it pretty well, so they'll. You know, I think they can play on any floor, but playing in here with their size and shooting ability, they're tough to beat. As their record indicates, they're 13 and 3 in league play. Ooh. Jelinas again. They're setting them up. They're going to him. They want him to keep fattening up that stat sheet there. He's got 43 now. Volker comes down. Those are the two guys who have handled most of the offense here tonight. 43 for Jelinas and now 32 for Volker. Another wide open look there for Jelinas. Good. You know, the, the subs are in now for Coventry trying to get a few minutes here and. All right we're going to get some subs in for Tolman. Timeout just for the purpose of getting some new players in there for Tolman Tigers, whose record will go to 18 and 4 overall, 15 and 3 in Division 2. Hmm. So, our statistician Pete Connell wants to know if you were the last player to have 50 points in this gym. Did you score 50 in here? No. It was 50 years I, ago. I had 41, though, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> It's a nice place to shoot, that's for sure. But Jelanis, he's been terrific in this game. He's still out there, too. They're going to foul Volker so they can get some more people in the game. Take, take uh, Jelanis out now, who are they going to take out? And take um, Isaiah Goas out right now so he can get a little round of applause. Barrett Diop checks in, junior forward. Who else do we have? So and that will do it Galinas. for Malik Jelinas. Jelinas there. What a ball game he had. 43 points. He can really shoot that. Shoot the three. Gets to the basket. Good all around player. Foul called. The vocal a still free throws. Getting into the lane there. Doing what he does best. 
Booker's having a good ball game too. He has 32 points. Not a lot of defense in this one, Frank. Everybody's out there having a nice time on the offensive end. Volker makes another one there. Foul line. Wait, this uh, Tolman. This Tolman team is impressive, though. I mean, they they have some they have some players. Volker checks out. 43 seconds to go in this one. Young guys now get the. Get a little half a minute of action here. See who's going to get the shot. Josiah Washington out top here. Diop, little weave, and Nick Fleury along the sideline here. Nick Fleury. It's four on the shot clock. Somebody's got to shoot it. Flurry. Oh, oh, how about that? Shot clock buzzer gets a three. How about that for Flurry? He hasn't played the whole ball game, and he won the shot clock down to one second. He knocks it in. And that will do it. 97-67, the Tolman Tigers victorious on their senior night. And player of the game, no surprise there, Joe. Malik Gelinas, 43 points, a couple of assists, a couple of steals. He put on a show tonight. He certainly did. Great all-around player. He's 100 points shy of 100 of 1,000, but he almost got halfway there in this ball game alone. So, great game by Galinas. All right, we'll be back with the winning team when we continue with our high school hoops coverage. All right. All right, welcome back to Tolman High School. The uh, Tolman Tigers with a big 30 point win. Mike Neal and the Tigers joining me here. We're jockeying for position, which has kind of happened in the game very successfully with a 30 point win. Uh, Coach, uh, tell me, what does a game like this do for you as you finish up the regular season and head to the playoffs? Uh, it's great to be playing our best basketball at the end of the year. Uh, we had a couple tough stretches in the season where we uh, hit a couple of ups and downs, and I think towards this final six games of the season, we're gelling, guys are playing their best basketball, and this is what you want going right into the playoffs. So I'm proud of the effort that we had tonight, especially for our seniors to go out with their uh, final game at home like this with a big win, 
and uh, just playing our best basketball going into the playoffs. Who's this? Uh, this is uh, Alea Neal, my baby girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Mike, looks like a fun team to coach. I mean, the guys are very unselfish. They move the ball. You get a lot of good shots. I mean, it's a fun team to coach for you. Oh, no. It's, it's uh, the most fun. Other than being with her, it's the most fun thing I could possibly do. Uh, these guys, uh, they keep me young. Uh, they, they take some tough shots, and they make some tough shots, and it at times, I just stand there, and I'm a fan, too, watching the game and just getting caught up, watching these guys put on big performances. Um, yeah, no, they're an amazing group of guys, and I'm excited to see how far we can go with them. I think Stay she wants my job. I, yeah. I, I think she has a future here. <laughs> well, listen, congratulations, guys. Let me give you our uh, high school hoops trophy. Yeah! Yeah! And that'll be a wrap on another high school hoops game and another high school hoops season. And before we go, all of us would like to take a moment to thank the wonderful sponsor partners, Landmark Medical Center, Martell Plumbing and Heating, and Ortho Rhode Island, who through their contributions to the program, make these games possible for you to view at home. We'd also like to thank our other great sponsor supporters for their contributions to our 2024 high school hoops telecasts. Dr. Eric George and Associates, Trattoria Appia Restaurant, Cardi's Furniture and Mattresses, and Medici Italian Kitchen. We'd especially like to thank tonight's participating high schools and their administrators for their continued support. Coventry High School and our host tonight, William E. Tolman High School here in Pawtucket. So, that will do it for another season of high school hoops. Actually, high school football, we started in the fall, and we're looking forward to season number three of high school football coming up in September. So uh, thanks for joining us this season, and to uh, invite you to join us again for another exciting season of Friday Night Rivals as we showcase many of the best high school football rivalries, matchups in our area. I know you don't want to rush it, but the fall is just around the corner, right? So for Joe Hassett, our statistician Pete Carnell, and the fantastic crew that we've been working with throughout the high school football and basketball season, I'm Frank Carpano. Thanks for watching, and stay safe, everyone. Have a good night.